Hey guys, Super Silverstone here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a part two to our loot table data pack video. So, in case you did not watch the last video that we made on data pack creation, on my data pack creation series, what we did was we inve investigated the three loot tables. Those are blocks, entities, and fishing, which is part of gameplay. Now, although those three are very, very cool to use and very fascinating and interesting, there's still other ways that you can use them. Now, these aren't even technically all of them that you can use, but these are two of the other main ones that you would use. So, first, what we're to start off by covering is the piglin barter very very popular uh and we're going to be covering that today so in the nether we have some piglins right and we have some gold we put the piglins down on the floor give it some gold and it might just give us an item look at that we have a black concrete that says option one huh i wonder what that so when we did that we got option one that's cool but what if we do it a few more times what else will we get so when we run it a few more times we get some more things in this chain in this case we got another two option number ones and an option number two so you can see how piglin bartering can be used to give different things in the 50 percent chance we get option one then we get option two we got another option one then we got another option one then we got an option one then we got an option two you can see that's how that works so let's jump into the code real quick and i can show you guys how to do it. so when you get into the page of misho.github.io loot dash table this is the site that's gonna, you're going to use when you get to the misho.github.io you're going to click loot table and when you get here you're going to go to this type bar and you're going to click barter and then all of this here we covered in the last video but i'll cover it real quick you can click on entries to add in new entries roles are how you select items and how many chances there are to select items and then under functions you can change all these different things you can set loot table set damage limit count explosion delay copy mbt data any of that stuff you can always do under here and you can add them as you want along with adding condition there's tons of different features to it and it's really cool but when you're done with that what you're going to do is you're going to grab this code in the bottom right you're going to control c it just like that and then you're going to open up your data pack you're gonna go to the data you're gonna go to your minecraft folder because you're editing what's inside of minecraft already you're gonna go to your loot underscore tables and then you're gonna make a new folder unless you have it already gameplay and here we have our fishing then we also have a folder called piglin underscore bartering when you go in here you can just delete everything that's in it and put it in now i'm not going to do that because i already have this here and this data pack will be linked in the description down below to go ahead and download it now that's piglin bartering next up on our list is cat gift in the morning so now i'm not going to actually sleep so they give me a gift what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to simulate it with the this command block which is who uh, loot gives super surface on loot minecraft gameplay cat morning gift which is actually the specific file so you can actually give any loot from anywhere you can make custom loot by using this by just going into that file specifically and using it now if that might be a separate video with the slash loot command i think that's what i'll do is i'll make a part three to this which is the loot table and the slash loot command which are all the different things that you can do with it and adding in custom loot tables so what we're going to do is we're going to simulate this by clicking this command block what do we have we have a toy boat do this again we have another toy boat do this again we have the star on the tree do it again we got a toy boat but again we get another star on the tree so you can see that's one of two chances you can add more than one or one more than two but that's just what i did because i'm not taking that much time to actually do this you're the one who would make this into a data pack so how this works is in our loot table command we can see minecraft gameplay cat morning gift so that's actually where it's going to be stored so if we head back into our code here we have our misshode.github.io if we go to this type and we select gift that's what it's going to be called it's going to be called a gift and we click on it that is going to set it to a gift type and then you can add everything else you want copy and paste your code bring that away and then you're going to go into your folder into your loot table gameplays folder and you're going to go cat underscore morning underscore gift dot json and then you can just control c in here and control v paste it all in there you go out and then type in the command slash reload run your command again and it will be your unique code now this is editing the basics of the minecraft code if you want to add your own your own loot table how you would do that is you would do that through your you would go back to your uh, data folder and then you go to your namespace folder then you would add loot tables and then you would add for example you would add your gameplay folder in here and then you would add in for example you would add in your text document and in this case i would name it like um cobblestone.json just like that uh you can't have that dot tx so what we've done here is we've created our own folder called gameplay you can add it in tutorial loot tables and then wherever but we've just called it gameplay you don't have to call it gameplay you could call it um do do no we're gonna name it dumb dumb right you go inside and you have your cobblestone.json because in case you use the same way that you would use it the other way your cobblestone.json which is your specific block and then your minecraft block on the side and that stone shovel so what we can do is we can go out run the command slash reload 
And then we can do slash loot give super silverstone loot. And then we would type in our custom name, say it's dum dum slash cobblestone. Do it and it gives us our stone shovel. So you can create custom loot tables like that. But if you want to alter in game blocks, that's how you do it. And then if you also had custom blocks, what you would do is you would put in your custom block name here. And then you would add, and then that's how you would actually give custom block loot table. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, the bell, turn on those notifications, go down in the comment comment. I really appreciate you guys helping me out with all this support recently. Go to my Discord server. Uh, you can check it out there with any help. My Planet Minecraft is where you can download all of this stuff. And then also, I would like to say that a slash loot or a slash loot command might be coming out in the future, going over all this different ways and how to add custom loot tables to custom blocks like that. Because I really want to go into the custom craft and the really complexity of data pack making later on. As we go, we're probably gonna go to advance a really complex. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys. Goodbye, everybody.